All right, so we're gonna start our first weekly drawing challenge. And what I've decided to draw are frogs. So before we begin, I wanted to show you how I've set up my drawing page. Um, I have this little tool that I made out of cardstock, and I just cut a, a rectangle um, with a smaller rectangle and two squares so that I could use it to create different boxes on my paper. So that I, this is just a sketch pad, um, but you can use computer paper, you can use um, drawing paper and then put it together in a binder. Um, but the reason why I did this is because every day this week, my kids, or myself, will be drawing a different aspect of a frog. And so instead of wasting one sheet of paper and you know drawing something small right here and then having this whole area not used, we're gonna break it up and use different areas of our paper. So I would recommend cutting out something like this and then in the back of your sketchbook or somewhere, you can just attach a little envelope and it can place right on here. And this is my daughter's. So, you see what you can do with that. So after you've set up your paper, um, I'm gonna take you through the steps of drawing just one, um, one frog. And remember, you can do anything you want with this. This is, um, this is just a quick five minute sketch. When I was in college, my, one of my art professors told us that if we drew something the size of a postage stamp or you know something small like this every single day, our drawing skills would improve dramatically. So another reason why we set up our paper like this um, is so that you don't feel overwhelmed feeling like you have to do the entire paper or you know, you, wait, you're waste, you feel like you're wasting paper. Um, you can just do little sketches. It shouldn't take you more than five minutes. If you want to draw from your imagination, you can draw from your imagination. Sometimes I like to actually draw from observation, but if you don't have an actual frog next to you, you can't draw from observation. But maybe um, one of your parents can print off a couple of pictures from the internet and you can look at them or you can look in some books at different aspects of frogs. So let's get started. We're going to label this. Now I'm using a fine point Sharpie pen so you can see it up on the screen. Um, but you go ahead and use a pencil because that'll be easier for you. So I'm going to write week one, frogs. And then I'm going to draw the whole frog here. And then here I might just draw um, just the head and then maybe um, legs and then eyes, feet. Um, and then, I don't know, some other things down here. I haven't decided yet. So let's get started with this, with this drawing. All right, the first thing we want to do, now remember, everybody draws differently. And my way is not the one and only way. Yours is going to look different from mine. Mine's going to look different from yours. And everybody else is going to look completely different. But here's just one way out of many different ways that you can draw a frog. The first thing that we're going to do is kind of draw, draw an oval. Okay, so you've got an oval, and we want to make it look like it's three-dimensional, so I'm going to very lightly draw this curved line going across. Okay, so that's going to give me the head of my frog. Now I'm going to put one eye over here and one eye over here. Okay, so far just ovals and circles and curved lines. No big deal. We'll add some details later. Now let's... Um, Let's draw the shape of the body, which is going to be like another oval. Something like this. And then we want to draw, we'll have space for three of the legs. So I'm going to just draw like a line here, an angled line here, and then their back legs kind of go up and down. So that's that's the basic outline of my frog. Now we can start adding some details. So let's start up here with the eyes. The eyes tend to look something like this. Okay, so there's one eye. Okay, now we're not finished yet, so um, the mouth, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna do, gonna you know, look like a little frown right here. Then it's gonna curve up to look like a smile because I want my frog to look like it's smiling. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and draw the second line. Okay, 
We've got two little, we'll do two little nostrils for the, for the nose area there. Now I do want to make the eyes look like they're a little bit connected, so. Just gonna kind of come around. Okay, now again, this is just a basic outline of a frog. Now down here for the feet, you can have three or four. I'm gonna put three lines in each area. One, the middle one's gonna be a little bit longer. I'm gonna do four for the back. Okay, and then some circles at the end. Okay, so that's so far. Now let's make it look like they're webbed with curved lines, right? Okay, and then you have to give some sort of thickness to the legs. They do have skinny legs, but we want them a little bit thicker than that. So, we know where the legs go. It's gonna be something like, something like that. And then this is gonna be more rounded up here. Okay. All right, so that would be the basic, super easy, straightforward frog that you've done in about five minutes. Remember, this is just a quick sketch. If you wanted to go back in and color that, you can. But throughout the week, you study different aspects of it. So here, maybe you would just focus on a different angle of the head. Or over here, you just look at maybe parts of the legs or the feet. And then, you know, just different areas. Maybe, oh, maybe the mouth right here. And then maybe, I don't know, maybe the, like, the designs on the body. Okay, so those are some ideas. You don't have to do it like this, but here's just one quick example of drawing a frog. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next week for our weekly challenge. Don't forget to practice every day to improve your drawing skills. All right, bye-bye.